did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I often get accused of being a T-Rex fanboy. So in this video, we'll explore nine dinosaurs that could have kicked T-Rex ass in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And why not 10 VK? Well, I'll leave the 10th up to you, so comment below. Anyway, let's begin. Number nine, Indominus Rex. Okay, let's get the fake dinosaurs out of the way first. The Indominus Rex can of course beat a T-Rex. We witnessed it. Being larger and possessing stronger arms that can grab things. In Jurassic World, Rex is beaten until Blue the Raptor comes to the rescue. Oh, and uh, Mosey. Mosey? Yeah, whatever. Next. Number eight, Spinosaurus. But let's go back to the original T-Rex ass kicker, the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. Well, the not on InGen's list version of the Spinosaurus, because it's highly unlikely that the real life duck Spinosaurus could waddle his way out alive, fighting the tyrant lizard king. The real life Spinosaurus could barely walk on land, and spent most of its time in the river catching fish. Still a huge dinosaur, not to be underestimated. Number seven, Giganotosaurus. The more recent T-Rex ass kicker was the Giganotosaurus, or Jigga for short. Featured in the terrible Jurassic World Dominion movie. We all agree that Trevor needs to find a day job. Comments often directed towards me. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Anyway, the bio sign Jigger was 6 meters tall and 18 meters long. Ridiculous. However, the real life Jigger was only slightly larger than a T-Rex. Longer and slightly taller, but much lighter. Meaning, he wasn't exactly what Doomsday was to Superman, but still a good contender. Okay, number six, Therizinosaurus. Dominion also introduced the Therizinosaurus, who accidentally killed the Giganosaurus. I mean, maybe he didn't want to. It was an accident. Maybe he still has nightmares about it. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Even though Dominion painted the Therizinosaurus as this badass ninja, the real-life Therry likely moved extremely slowly, like a sloth spending most of its time sitting and using its massive claws not to kill, but to drag leaves towards its mouth. Still, he was a massive dinosaur, and we have no idea how he might have used his one meter long claws. Okay, number five, Soro Faganax. Now to the more serious T-Rex killer contenders. Saurophaganax was a large theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, around 150 million years ago, in what is now Western North America. It was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs of its time, estimated to have been up to 12.2 meters long and 3.6 metric tons in weight. But that's much lighter than the 8-ton T-Rex. T-Rex had a massive skull, with a bite force that was one of the strongest of any terrestrial animal, as well as powerful hind legs that could deliver devastating kicks. However, Saurophaganax was also a very formidable predator, with sharp teeth, powerful jaws, and strong limbs, and was very likely much quicker than the T-Rex. Okay, number four, Maposaurus. Maposaurus was a large theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 100 million years ago in what is now Argentina. It was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs of its time, estimated to have been up to 12.2 meters long and weighing as much as 3.6 metric tons. Although T-Rex was larger and heavier and possessed a stronger bite, Maposaurus was likely a faster and more agile predator with long, slender limbs that allowed it to run down prey over long distances. Number three, Carcharodontosaurus. Carcharodontosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 100 to 94 million years ago, in what is now North Africa. It was one of the largest theropod dinosaurs of its time, estimated to have been up to 13 meters long, weighing as much as 6.8 metric tons. Both Carcharodontosaurus and T-Rex had massive, powerful jaws, sharp teeth, and strong hind limbs. T-Rex, however, had a stronger bite force, a larger brain, may have even been more agile than Carcharodontosaurus. Carcar, on the other hand, had longer arms, which could have been an advantage in grappling with prey. It's also possible that Carcharodontosaurus had a higher endurance level, which would have been useful for hunting over long distances. Number two, 
Tarbosaurus. Ah yes, Mr. Convergent Evolution. A dinosaur that evolved to look just like the T-Rex, despite living thousands of miles away on a different continent. Proof that if aliens exist, they probably look humanoid. Anyway, I digress. Tyrannosaurus and Tyrannosaurus were both large theropod dinosaurs. They lived during the late Cretaceous period, but they lived in different areas of the world. Tyrannosaurus lived in what is now Mongolia and China, while T-Rex lived in what is now Western North America. Tarbosaurus was similar in size and shape to the T-Rex, with estimates putting it at 12 meters long and weighing as much as 5 metric tons. It had large, powerful jaws and sharp teeth. It may have been a formidable predator in its own right. In terms of physical characteristics, T-Rex had a more powerful bite, stronger hind limbs than Tarbosaurus, while Tarbosaurus may have been more agile and possessed a longer tail, which could have provided additional balance and stability in a fight. And number one. Ah oh, yes, the dinosaur that killed the most number of T-Rexes was the fearsome and bloodthirsty uh, Triceratops, a herbivore. Yes, despite a lack of evidence in regards to actual battling between the two dinosaurs, say T-Rex bite marks on Triceratops bones, these two dinosaurs lived in the same location around the same time, so actually did battle each other, unlike the other entries on this list. One of the most famous examples of a potential encounter between a T-Rex and Triceratops is the dueling dinosaurs specimen, which was discovered in Montana in the United States. This fossil includes the remains of a Triceratops and a T-Rex that appear to have died in close proximity to each other. But it's uncertain if it's due to an actual fight. So that's nine dinosaurs that could potentially kill a T-Rex. I'll leave the tenth up to you, so comment below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a small super thanks. Failing that, just watch it to the very end. It boosts the audience retention metric. I've been VK. I hope you have a pleasant evening. I'll catch you later.